What's up, everyone? I'm back at it. It's been a long time, I know, but I haven't really had many topics on my mind lately to be discussed. Uh, not that I really have much of an audience yet, but hey, hopefully a video picks up soon. So today's topic, um, <laughs> not the greatest topic ever, but hey, uh, if people need hot bags, then there's an easy way to do this. And if you don't care about the logo, unless you actually do uh, work for them, is you can get a Postmates bag, and if you guys have seen this one before, pretty damn easy, right? Now, I talked to a customer a few days ago, right? Uh, well, he was actually picking up at a restaurant, and I was picking up a DoorDash order, and um, I don't know, but his own personal business, you know, he had a DUI, whatever. Um, but it, the funny part about Postmates, right, is that they will, okay, send you the activation kit, even if you don't get approved, okay? They'll send the activation kit before anything happens, you know, if that background check got clear, whatever. So, the only reason why I mentioned him is because he did that, and they sent him one too. So, it's very flashy, right? Um, I don't think I showed you guys this bag before again, because I did a hot bags video and I just showed you the DoorDash and the Grandpa bags, but look at that, it's very nice. Um, very huge improvement from previous Postmates bag, which, where is it? I showed you guys another video. Look at this flimsy thing, dude. I can literally just bring this to the beach. <laughs> Or, you know, for an Aldi shopper like me, um, who, you know, those types of places save a lot too. They don't supply any plastic bags for the customer um, unless you buy them. So, you know, what's the point of doing that when, you know, somebody as a food delivery guy has a billion hot bags, you know, and this one clearly doesn't have any insulation. Um, whereas the updated one, man, look at this, they even have the cup holder thing here. Um, I, I don't use it because, you know, I'm just afraid. Plus, like, where I keep my hot bags, um, I usually keep in the back seat. I know I have, I, I drive a hatchback, so yeah, I do have space back there, but um, I usually leave my catering bag back there for a sole purpose of, you know, if I pick up Walmart groceries from DoorDash, and obviously I try to avoid that as much as possible, but um, that's just my preference because, you know, it makes it easy for the Walmart employee to load up my, load up the bag from the bag. Um, or, you know, if I'm picking up Instacart orders, um, you know, because I start back up and start Instacart again, just to get the, you know, the flow running again, just because, uh, you know, my, I honestly think the pay has gotten a lot better since, you know, they had that class action lawsuit. So, um, it might be worth it, honestly. They have more choices, I've noticed so far. Uh, more batches, more uh, selection from supermarkets you can go to now. So it's not just like, oh, Jason, go to, you know, this Publix here and, like, go all across the map. Um, now, granted, like, I used to only pick up um, pickup orders only, not the full service orders from this particular location like all the time. That's basically all I got in my zone. So, uh, not to get off topic, but like I said, there's a lot of Publix now in my zone that does uh, full service. So, now I don't have to keep going across the map just to drop off pickup only orders, which um, to me, I've noticed have been a lot less paid. Obviously, less of a pain in the ass, right? Because you're just scanning it for a few bags. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, is it going to be worth driving all those miles to drop it off? You know, just because it took a little bit less time to deal with that. Uh, so, like I said, I'm pretty rusty still. Um, I started back up yesterday. Um, but I've seen a lot of improvements. Um, you know, it's definitely, there's definitely a learning curve to Instacart, though. Um, as opposed to food delivery, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, DoorDash, though, in particular, I've noticed you have to really, 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 like, try to just learn all these different things about the app and the way DoorDash does their thing. Um, but this video, 
I know I'm going all over the place here, but the point of this video, I don't know how we got here, but um, yeah, easy way if we got Postmates bag, man, just sign up, um, they'll give you one. Or if you just want to hop back in general, is what I'm saying. Because I know, like I said, I've seen so many drivers, especially Uber Eats drivers, because I don't think they supply a hot bag in the mail for them, uh, which is absolutely insane to me, because it's like, you know, you think Uber for their name, they, they're, they've they uh, put on so many drivers in this business where you think, like, they would have some sort of, like, common currency to hand you one, but, um, yeah, no, they... They, they're, they're just like trying to charge. I don't understand. And uh, DoorDash it almost seems like they're becoming the same way, but they, they'll still give you that dinky bag of mail. But I'm just saying, if you want something at a higher upgrade, it's like you have to pay for that shit. Um, but yeah, I, I really think this Postmates bag is almost on the same level as the Grubhub bags. Um, now, I gave it a few weeks, or maybe not a few weeks. <laughs> It's only been like two weeks since I've had one of these, so I have two of them right now. So I had a few email addresses, right? So I just, you don't even have to change like your um, social security number, your profile, profile, profile picture, or any of that stuff, street address, nothing. They won't like say, oh shit, Jason, you're just trying to get free hot bags in the mail. We're gonna flag you for that. No, they're literally going to send you one in the mail no matter what, it's really crazy, so, um, there's no excuse, like I said, guys, there's so many ways, so many ways, <laughs> just a little bit of a, uh, shout out to BZ right there, uh, to get hot bags, okay, you don't have to, like, fight for one, um, you know, if you really want to look professional, if you really want the customer's food to stay fresh, um, you know, I, I don't have any type of, um, evidence like saying like oh yeah guys you can feel this hot food that was sitting here in the heat bag you know through this phone screen here um but at the end of the day um i think it looks good on youtube for the restaurant to be able to see with the hot bag it gets here right away and i've already mentioned this in the other video so i don't want to ramble on too much about a postmates bag here so a little nice zebra outline right um, so, yeah, I, I remember I had one of these bags, like the very first one we had, and this is kind of what made me stop, stop from making this video, uh, was because maybe I was a little bit too aggressive on the zipper, but it broke off, um, so I had to throw that one away right away, but I've had, um, these two for a little bit, at least the first one, and I haven't had any problems, dude. So, usually I'll pick up post up. Uh, DoorDash horse with this bag because all of my DoorDash uh, hot bags have been trashed and thrown away since then. Um, obviously, I really like this grub hub bag, so I'll use the grub hub bag to uh, obviously get grub hub over. So, um, and also grub hub, like I said, very more spacey inside, more room, so you can uh, pick up big Denny's bags and Cheesecake Factory bags. You know, the list goes on. Some, th there's a certain length of a pizza too, like they'll be able to fit in there and it won't fit in this bag. Um, so like a small little personal pizza from a hipster Neapolitan place should be able to fit in here, um, but not in there. You know, it's be thin, thin crust pizza. So, man, I'm already eight minutes and I'm just talking about this stupid thing. Uh, but seriously though, guys, this is about the same length or uh, size as the DoorDash bag, uh, but if you guys can be able to feel this insulation, like straight up, it's really solid. Um, I can't imagine it ripping anytime soon. Um, they're like the Grubhub bags. I used to have two Grubhub bags that had the same insulation as this, um, and they lasted me almost a year. So uh, one of them was like a pizza bag and fit all this, uh, all these catering orders inside it. But you know, eventually the strap rips. Actually. And then obviously the uh, aluminum started to rip. But it wasn't like as flimsy as the DoorDash bag. <laughs> Keep going back to that DoorDash bag straight up. Um, and then the other Grubhub bag I had, the same size as this one, it, uh, the zipper 
broke off. So, <laughs> you know, shit happens, you know, stuff falls apart over time. So, what can you do, right? So, that's about all I have to say about this video. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And if you want to sign up for Postmates, I will post a link in the description box. Also, I'll post a link of a DoorDash link. Um, now, referral bonuses are no more, so I don't think it's there's really any point uh, to be advertising that, but you know. Postmates though, I don't really drive for them anymore. I, the first account I made with them, I got deactivated from, so I don't even know. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna approve for anything like that. Um, these accounts, they just sent me the bag anyways. Um, so I remember the second the second time I tried to do it, um, they didn't let me, so. Um, but I think the link would still work though if I put post it down below. Unfortunately, Grubhub still doesn't give out referral bonuses. I don't know why. Uh, so I can't really do anything about that. I don't really care to do that. But, you know, if you want to look up Grubhub, go right ahead. I'm just not going to really put time and effort to uh, post anything about it as far as signing up goes. So be sure to check out my next video. Um, I think my next video topic will be about... Oh boy, it's going to be a long one. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this long, but it's going to be about DoorDash and uh, not telling customers. It's basically just going to be about like the things DoorDash does not tell customers and what they need to know. Um, because there's always a list of that, even for DoorDash drivers too. Um, so it might be a big mix of both, but in general, that's what it's going to be about. And, uh, I also have another video in mind too about uh, how DoorDash treats their drivers and why they want you to act like an employee. So yeah, there's always a list. Uh, so just be, just stay tuned for that. That's it for this video. Sorry, it got long and did talk a little bit more about this stuff that I did not really need to. Or want to, I guess. I'm about to head to the gym right now. It's very slow today. So, peace out, guys. Uh, see you in the next video. Stay cool.